and we are back. Pretty much YouTube channel, and this is the Nissan 350Z rear. Everything's on the bench, ready for uh, assembly here. And what we have is a Tomy limited slip differential, it's clutch pack type. I believe it's a 1.5 way. Also their uh, brand of gear as well. This is a Tomy 390 gear. Uh, it looks pretty good. I have not installed one of these gear sets before, so I'm really curious to see how this thing sets up and sounds. Uh, but it looks like it's been, you know, lapped in from the factory, which is really a nice thing to see. A lot of these aftermarket gears are not. Uh, they're kind of rough cut looking and uh, rough lapped, if you want to even call that a, a thing. And, uh, and that's why they whine and make noise. So this one should actually uh, sound pretty close, if not to factory, as it looks uh, on the bench here right now. This is the Putty Mod Solid Steel Sleeve we'll be installing later on into this build. And it slips on just like that. There's a shoulder here on this pinion gear for that sleeve. Uh, some sleeves go all the way down to the upper, you know, the larger inner pinion bearing and fall in between that bearing and the outer pinion bearing. But on this particular setup, it has a shoulder that it sits on and sets that uh, pinion load. So we'll be doing that uh, later on in the build as, as mentioned. Um, we have good Japanese Koyo bearings. I checked the boxes inside, checked the bearings. They all come from Japan, so we're definitely not going to have any trouble there. That's a good quality bearing, and we have genuine Nissan seals. So this is going to be definitely a quality build uh, with quality parts. And... Okay, we're getting ready to push in the inner pinion uh, race here, pinion bearing race. And what we do is we use the old one, which lines up perfectly, so you don't have to worry about having the wrong size pusher. And on top of that is a pusher that we actually make to center it. And then we go ahead and Send it on down. Works perfectly. Awesome when you have the right tools. Makes the job look easy. pressed on bearing cups are pressed into place and I'll go ahead and I'll get that ring gear on this uh, Tommy LSD and we'll start getting this thing set up uh, to do our first run and see what we get okay getting ready to set the pinion inside the case here all right we're back now got our uh, measurement I pulled the sleeve out and now we're going to go ahead and put the case back on 
and look for a, uh, a pattern setup. Okay, all right, we're gonna set this flange on and uh, get our initial pinion torque load without a crush tube or solid sleeve in it. This is just for setup purposes. And um, once we have that determined, then I'll go ahead and I'll get the LSD carrier in it and we'll get our first setup. Well, we're at the end of the second day on this. We have our setup now and got a beautiful pattern. Backlash is still a little bit wide, so we're gonna get into some custom grinding on shims tomorrow so I can finish this off. Pinion depth is right on the money. I just need to get eh, maybe another two, three thousandths out of the backlash, I think. But tomorrow's another day. These Nissan rear ends, they take a lot of time. They're fussy um, and uh, it's just not a, an easy job to do, but that's why not everybody does it, I guess. So we'll be back at it tomorrow to play with this uh, Nissan job and uh, get her done.